suena rap. Scooby Doo pop pop. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, it's been a very, very long time. I hope you guys did not forget about me. Welcome those who are new. My name is Louisa. And those who have stayed with me, I'm so sorry. Literally, I've been MIA for like a year? I don't even know how long. But it's just been a lot going on. Uh, very different now. I am actually in Salisbury. I am three hours away from where I originally lived. I'm here going to school. Uh, I've been here for a year now. I transferred last spring and that's where I stopped making my videos because it was just like transformation. So I was just trying to get used to it, you know. And, um, but yeah, that is the update. So for today's video, I'm gonna do my first Q&A. I want you guys to get to know me better and I want to update you guys. Um, my life right now is very different, like I said. So if you are interested, keep on watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. First question, how old are you? I am 20 years old. I just turned 20 in January. Where are you from? I am from Guatemala. I was born there and it came to the United States when I was about three years old. And I've been living in Frederick ever since. Um, what influenced me on starting to do makeup and what do I love about it? I think makeup is an art. Honestly, you can do so much with it. You can go be dramatic, you can be natural, you can even do like sci-fi makeup, like it's just so like, it's amazing. And also, what influenced me, I started doing makeup, I wanna say junior year of high school, so about like three years ago. I don't know why I even started, I just, I never actually wore foundation until junior year. I would always wear like mascara or concealer or something like natural, I had no idea what I was doing and then I just kept practicing and I got better. And I was like, wow, like, I really love doing this. And then I started doing like for my family and then moved on to my friends. And then next thing, people started offering me to do their makeup. And I was like, sure, why not? And like, I just love it, you know? Okay, next question. My sis Michelle asked me this. Um, are you single? No, I am not single. I have a boyfriend. His name is Ture. We've been dating for almost... Actually, we've been dating for three months. As in today. <laughs> He is currently behind the camera, so, yeah. Life update. Like I said, I'm living here in Salisbury. Um, I go to school here. I'm majoring in exercise science, and what I want to do with that in the future is either become a physical therapist or an occupational therapist. I'm not really sure yet, but somewhere in that route. Pet peeves. Okay. I hate when I go to the bathroom and the toilet seat is up. I can't stand that. I really can't. Um, also, when um, I'm like talking to somebody and they just completely ignore me, and I know they heard me, but they just don't acknowledge me. I'm just like, hello, and they just don't answer. I'm just like, okay, whatever. That really gets all under my skin. I just really hate that. Um, next, fun fact I honestly hate these questions because I never know what to say about myself um I'm the only child for those of you that don't know but yes I'm the only child uh favorite kind of makeup look honestly I can go for anything like I like natural like dramatic anything honestly it could be me but most of the time natural by natural I mean like something like this okay next question um Favorite type of movies? Honestly, it depends on my mood. I can go for like romantic, comedy, scary. I have like a love-hate relationship with scary movies because I'm like excited to see them. But when it comes to the scary parts, I'm honestly a punk, but like I love that. I don't know, it's weird. Um, how much do I charge for makeup? Usually I charge about $35, but yeah. Um, does Kenzo have a lazy ear? Okay, for you, those who don't know, I have another dog now. I have two, one back home. His name is Coco. He's a Pomeranian. And then I recently got, uh, me and Teray got this puppy named Kenzo. He is a Shorty Shih Tzu and Yorkie mix. He is super cute. He is about to be six months this month. And let me show him. Hold on. 
This is Kenzo. <laughs> you probably look so funny right now. But um, his lazy ear, I think, is honestly, is this one. This one never really goes up, only when he's, like, scared, which he is right now because he's not used to, like, the light. But, yeah, he's super cute. I love him. He's very, he has a very, like, unique personality, and he's perfect, so. That's him. <laughs> Okay, next question. Favorite highlighter? Guys, look at this. Let me get your head. Um, I'm wearing the Amrezi highlighter. That's my favorite highlighter at the moment. She is just so bomb. I have it right here. I can show it to you guys. This is honestly the best so far. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like it's just, just look at the like the like the texture. It's just like wavy. It's just so nice and. It's obviously popping, so I recommend this highlighter. It's very nice. Okay, um, favorite place to shop. Um, I love Fashion Nova. Actually, this shirt is from Fashion Nova. It was like, I want to say $15 maybe, but it's very, very affordable, super cute. So that's honestly my go-to. I love them. Um, favorite makeup brand has to be Anastasia. I love her. It's popping. Um, biggest kitchen screw up. Oh my god, literally, I don't think you guys are ready for this. This is like, I was so scary, but it's like, it's like funny to me now. So, me and my friend, my roommate Cam, we were um making churros in the kitchen, right? So, she heats up the grease, whatever, the oil. And I'm over there cooking something else. I think I was making tacos. We were cooking for like Thanksgiving. And um, then all of a sudden like the oil starts smoking. I'm just like, Cam, you know, the oil is like burning. She's like, oil doesn't burn. I said, bitch, what? Oil definitely does burn. Next thing I knew, literally five seconds to 10 seconds later, that don't blew up. <laughs> like flames. I tell you flames. I was like oh my god and people were over there sleeping in the house i'm like oh my god look what do we do we were freaking out she was obviously freaking out i was freaking out i didn't know what to do my first fire like i didn't know what to do then she comes up with this brighter idea and she poured flour on the fire i'm just like are you sure and she's like yeah so she pours it right that they reached like the whole ceiling i was like oh my god that at that time i thought our life was over. I thought we were going to lose our little house. I thought I was just going to be done. It was so scary. But you know me, a little rescuer. <laughs> I grabbed um, towels. I grabbed the pot. The door was already open. So I just literally threw that don't outside. There was still fire in the pot. So I was trying to calm that down with the towel. And there was still like smoke in the um, stove. So I was like calming that down too. But listen, it was a life lesson. Don't ever pour flour into your fire. Just... Be bold, grab it, and just dispose of it because it could turn out bad. I was really scared. And honestly, that happened again because I, I left a cake in the oven with, like, plastic. And next thing I know, the oven was on fire. On fire, sorry. On fire. So, I just had a bad experience. Um, where would I like to travel? Honestly, I would love to go back to Guatemala and see my family. I miss it, and I really don't remember anything from it, so it would be really nice to go back, hopefully soon. And also Hawaii, California, even though those are kind of basic, but I've never been outside of Maryland, so. But I am going to Miami this summer, so it's about to be lit. She popping, so I'm a vlog too, so just stick around. Um something you have never done but would you like to do i really really want to skydive i've always wanted to do it but i never got a chance to so hopefully i get to do it this summer pray hopefully what is your biggest influence today i would have to say my mother um she is a very very great person she is so special to me she literally like started from the bottom and worked her way all the way up and I'm just so proud of her. Seeing her grow like that is just incredible. And I aspire to be like her. And she just 
I just love her. She's great. Um, my biggest fear has to be snakes. I hate snakes. I can't even look at them in picture. I get so scared. I can't. If I ever see a snake, I'll probably die. I'll pass out. Because it's that serious. I just hate snakes. Um, and the beach. But listen. I'm not weird. I just like... I have a fear of drowning because <laughs> um, I had a bad experience. I was like little, like seven, eight years old. I almost drowned. I kept rolling in the waves and it was just so scary. So I was like, oh my God, I'm never getting in the water again. It takes me a very long time to even get in the water. If I even do get in the water. And if I do, I don't go deep at all. I literally stay like where the tides rip. I can't. Okay, last question, guys. How did you and Teray meet? It's actually a very funny story. Um, I met him literally like a year ago from now. He was the very first person I met here at Salisbury, which is really completely weird. Um, we met at a party, of course. And he just like, I was like, this guy keeps staring at me. And he had these like little stupid glasses on. He thought he was cute. I mean, he was, but like, yeah. <laughs> but, um. But yeah, uh, he kept looking at me, and I was like, so I, I know I kept looking too, and then out of nowhere, I was dancing with this one girl, and he like gets closer, I'm just like, <laughs> and you know, started dancing or whatever, and then um, he kept staring at me, and then he just came up to me, asked me for my number, and I was like, sure, why not, you know, so we started texting, kicking it off, and the story continues from there. That is all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm sorry again for leaving you guys out of the loop in my life. But I promise I'm going to be uploading more now. And it's going to be bomb. So comment if you want to see other videos. Give me suggestions, you know. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And see you next time.